It's not every day that you get a semi-trailer tipping from the side, but today is one of those days. What's going on everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got 11 mods for you. For all platforms, we have two new and seven updates. And for PC and Mac, we have two new as well. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We're gonna start with the semi-trailer. This is gonna cost you $82,000. Nice. Capacity of 58,000 liters. This is gonna hold all bulk crop, which is great. And it only takes up three slots if you guys are on console. The downside, well, there's no customization whatsoever. So I hope you like blue and yellow. Also on top of that, we do have the wheels that are on the Wilson trailers, which is really cool. My favorite in game. However, you can't change those either. So uh, what you see is what you get through and through. And on top of that, you're also unable to change the tipping side as well. So maybe you don't want to tip from the side. Maybe you want to tip from the back or the other side or something like that. Uh, you don't have an option here. So it just kind of is what it is. You, of course, you've got dumped, everything like that dumped to the ground. Uh, and you've got a cover that you can open and close. If you do decide to tip this, the cover will clip through it. So again, be aware of that. The cover will not remove itself automatically. However, you can remove it and then you will not be able to add it back until it is via the side. Boop, just like that. And then you can cover it up again. There you go. That is your semi-trailer. And your only other new mod for all platforms day is going to be the cow shed. This is going to be $175,000, 300 bucks per day. So a little high there. Nine slots if you guys are on console. So not bad there. And 200 cows. You can see you've got slurry. You've got places for your milk. We've got ways to get inside and everything like that. And of course, you can see in from the side here. So why don't we take a look and pump our way in. One thing, if you guys are familiar with stuff from GB Modding, well, this, oops, I pressed the wrong thing. This is from GB Modding himself. So you got that, ba boom, ba boom, we'll cut some lights on. Of course, you've got places for straw and places for food and manure and everything like that. And you've even got over here, another door for buying. Ha ha, there you go. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to do. The season's ready, manure system ready. So if you guys are on PC, this is manure system ready, which is really, really nice. Of course, your solid manure is gonna go there. And if we come around here, ba-boom, right there. There's your manure system spot. And that, hey, not a whole lot to it. It is the cow shed from GB modding making our way into mod updates for all platforms today we're going to start with a map that was removed from mod hub and is back now as an update though it's showing as new regardless this is the great lands of europe and it is going to be change log 1.001 texture modification and modification of the houses the next update for all platforms today is going to be the map keoeg this is going to be version 1.1 repaired all errors reported by the players and the map has been adapted for the next bigger update your next mod update is going to be for the joskin wago pack from ada modding nix tr4s abp team and black sheep modding this is changelog 1.2 lower the file size and lower the slot counts if you guys are unfamiliar with this pack comes with the 10m comes with the 8m and then you have the semi-mounted 8m as well these are going to be reduced and they've got from the Wago 10 and 8, these are going to be three slots. And your semi-mounted ADEM, this is going to be five slots. The Joskin Aquatrans 3600L4300L also has an update today. Version 1.0.1, added main color configuration, added design color configuration, and of course, room color configuration as well. Love some configuration. So uh, first things first, you do have the 36 or the 43. Now, the wheel itself is going to change. So so depending on which one you're like, I can't imagine anyone would get the smaller one. I think everybody's just going to go with the 43. Call me crazy, but I think, yeah, this is what I would go with. It also comes with those new, I believe they're Michelin tires. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful Michelin tires through there. Would be nice maybe in a future update to be able to put whatever one of those wheels you want on. But there you go. Main color. You got stainless steel. You've got chrome. You've also got black. That's nice. You've got yellow, green, and blue. As far as rim colors, you've got your standard yellow, silver, black, and white. And then the design, which is going to be on the bottom, you could change this to match everything 
as well. How's about an update to the solar shed? Yeah, from made up modding, ABP team, and white bull modding this time around. Version 1.1 fixed the floating floor, and the file has been optimized. It is now six slots. And yeah, you can go, woo, yeah. Love being able to jump around on this thing. It's awesome. Still makes you money as well. So if you're in easy, it's going to be 90 bucks per hour. Normal is $60 per hour. And in hard mode is going to be $30 per hour. Snow on the roof for winter and using seasons. I think some of those words mixed up. That's my fault. Your next to last update for all platforms today is going to be Season Geo Central Europe Simplified. This is Changelog 1.5. Fix the growth of pasture grass, horse grass, miscanthus, clover, alfalfa, and field grass. Grass, added loose grass for selling, raised the wind speed for better wind animation of foliage, and of course, compost can now be applied even when the ground is frozen. And your last update for all platforms today is basically the exact same thing. Seasons Geo USA Simplified Version 1.4. Fix the growth of pasture grass, horse grass, miscanthus, clover, alfalfa, and field grass. Added loose grass for selling, raised the wind speed for better wind animation of foliage, and Compost can now be applied even when the ground is frozen. As I mentioned, we do have a couple new mods for you guys if you're on PC or Mac today. First is going to be the GT 16 2000 GR Bell Fork. Goodness gracious. This is from Agri Man 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 I don't know how to say that. This is a telehandler attachment, what it is. 2.3 megabytes to download. Uh, it is going to cost you two grand, no customization. And your only other mod today is the bag packing machine. This holds uh, 800 liters, at least in the hopper. Now it says that the grain tank on here is 500 liters online at least, and the bag volume is 100 liters. So not really sure which one to believe there. Either way, uh, this is gonna make 100 liter bags of Different things, so wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, and corn, allowing you to sell them a little bit easier. You've got some main colors on here, so you can choose kind of whatever you like, like the green, we'll go with that, and then you can change up the design for the base on the bottom. We are going to do that as well. I'm actually gonna lease one of these because I wanna see exactly how this works. For the sake of doing things the hard way, I've actually gotten a hold of a wheat bag here, and we're gonna, I think try to fill up the hopper from the weed bag, um, if it will. Uh, looks like the answer is no. No, it won't. Okay, so what can we do here? Um, I'm thinking maybe some type of front loader, maybe skid steer. Doesn't look like any of these have any connections, so we'll just kind of go in here with a skid steer. Let's jump in, let's grab ourselves a bit. Let's see, high dump bucket. Yep, that will be just fine. We're going to do that. Cut on some game sound as well for you guys. So we've got it. And I just want to take something and put it in here. So maybe go in wheat. Yep, there we go. That'll be enough for me. Ooh, a <laughs> little bit heavy. And then it says you could dump this in. Now I'm guessing that this is going to be a little bit difficult seeing that the hopper is a little bit smaller than this bucket is. Um, but that seems to be working just fine. Yep, working just fine. Dumping it in. Maybe a bag pops around at the bottom. A uh, bag did not pop around at the bottom, but this seems to be working okay. Uh, and then I think we want to open vehicle, so we're gonna go left, and that's not doing anything. Um. I I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, so I think I've got it. Uh, you have to enter this like a vehicle, and then I've got it set to dump. Enable pallet creation. There we go. All right, and then now it is dumperooning into the bag we take the bag and it keeps dumping in until that animation is gone and it keeps creating okay yo did that go boink no okay so it's just a solid object but still nonetheless all right this is kind of cool this should make things nice and easy for you guys so you got to come up you got to enter it like a vehicle and after that 
you will be just fine. From the looks of this, uh, let's see. These, I'm not really sure, 200 liters each. So um, online it says that the bag volume is 100 liters and the grain take is 500 liters. However, the bags are 200 liters and the hopper is 800 liters. So in game is correct. The online portion is uh, incorrect. And hopefully I can get my outro correct. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's mod video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed to Jump New, join the Go Ahead fam. Make sure your notifications are on. You don't want to miss anything going forward. We got Farm Sim 19 videos, Farm Sim 22 videos. Things are going absolutely crazy. Also, make sure you guys enter the giveaway. If you guys are in the United States, link in the description below. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace.